Hey, this is Ghost Pass Report. We're talking about Necrons here. Okay. This is a quick run through of all the different units, their roles, their pros and cons, and a few tips that I can give you. Um, for greater detail, look at my other videos. This is pretty much just a filler video until I get other things done. Right. Katan. Not much to say. Refer to other videos. Okay. Lord. High stat line, strength and toughness 5, very good. 100 points is a good price for him. He's got a power weapon and like a strength 5 AP3 gun with 3 shots, that's quite good. Although it's like 12 inch range, so it's not that good range, but not bad. Um, lots of war game means he can do pretty much anything. He's very good for combat, but he can go up against almost any unit. So... Yeah, very good for that. His war scythe ignores even invulnerable saves, so it's amazing and gets like 2d6 plus his strength for arm penetration. Um, cons, low weapon skill initiative compared to other melee units. I mean, his weapon skill initiative are 4, so it's not that good compared to other specialist units in other armies. He's um, the best thing you have in your army pretty much, apart from Catan, I suppose, and Resurrection Orb is a must. Okay, next is Pariahs. Also in combat, because their strength and toughness 5, which and a, with a 3 plus save, which makes them very durable. Their um, war scythes ignore all armor saves, which is amazing. They get 3 attacks each, no wait, 1 attack each, sorry. I was looking at initiative. Initiative is 3, which isn't that good, but... Um, they have the soulless rule, which means that their enemy's leadership is 7, which is amazing. Well, that's everything within 12 inches has leadership of 7. So that's awesome. It means you're going to win your combat very easily. They're anti psychers and thus anti tyranids because anything with synapse in a tyranid army counts as a psyker, so they're awesome against psychers. Um, cons 36 points per model. They are quite expensive. They're not Necrons, they don't count to phase out and stuff, and don't get back up. So, think about that when you're getting them. Okay. Immortals. Good guns, strength 5, MP4, assault 2, 24 inch range, meaning that they can officially blast down things at range. Two shots each. I mean, they're kind of like heavy bolters, but for Necrons. They're gorse weapons, obviously, because all rage weapons are in the Necron army, so they do the gorse abilities, which you'll have to look at my other videos to find out what it does. Um, toughness 5 and we'll be back makes them very hard to shift off things. They're not, um, like, troops' choice, so they don't, like, hold objectives, but they can, like, contest it and, like, protect the objectives, I suppose. Um, 28 points, though, they might be a bit expensive. Okay, I'm not fond of them. Sometimes expensive, not very good in melee. Okay. Flayed ones. Okay. They get infiltrate, they get deep strike, they get a terrifying visage. They are amazing. They're cheap at uh, 18 points model. They have basically the same stats as a Space Marine, but with two attacks. So that makes them very good. Um, we'll be back is good for them. They're not very durable. Which explains itself in the number of points. But then they do get to go to combat very quickly. But because they're going to combat quite quickly, it might get separated from the Lord and his resurrection orb, and so wouldn't maybe last as long as you'd like them to. Choose your targets. Well, choose weaker targets if you're splitting them up from a Lord. Make sure you pick your right target. Basic Warriors. They are good ground stomping basic troops, reliable, will hold objectives. Their guns can damage anything, because they're gorse weapons, so they can even do anti-tank if they want them to. Um, lot of shots at close range, because they get rapid fire. Large squad size means they're expensive, because they're 18 points per model, so minimum squad size of 10, that's 180 points. Quite expensive. They are weak in melee, but then most Necron things are. So, because they're initiative 2, and so they'll strike last, and so they're going to get killed a bit before they manage to do anything. They're good for adding bulk to the army for phase-out, because they're all Necrons. We'll be back helps with this. And so, are basically 
for holding objectives and bulking up an army list to fill like your phase out. Raids next. They are very, very fast. Okay? The fastest unit in the entire game, pretty much. They ignore all um, terrain. They move as jet bikes. They are extremely, unbelievably fast. Strength 6 means that they're very good in combat. Although toughness 4 and 1 wound makes them not very durable. They have initiative 6 and 3 attacks, which makes them excellent in combat. 3 plus save and a 3 plus invulnerable save. Small squad size and toughness 4 and 1 wound makes them very um, hard to last. So they won't last very well. And they can be quite expensive because they're small squad size and they are like 41 points each and 12 pounds per model. So, yeah, they're good for um, taking out specialist units, I suppose, quickly. Right, next is destroyers. They have brilliant guns, strength 6, AP4, 3 shots each. They can move and shoot them, and they have a range of 36 inches on the guns. They move as jet bikes, meaning that they're brilliantly fast. Um, expensive because they're like 50 points per model, but then they have like a toughness 5, 3 plus save, and they get wheelie back, which makes them hard to kill. They're not very good in melee, and all their toughness 5, you're not going to last very long, surprisingly. Smaller squad sizes die a lot quicker because things target them, because they know how effective they are for shooting. So be careful in combat, take larger squad sizes. Scarabs, they are good for boosting forward quickly, almost as quick as raids because they get moved through cover and they're like swarms and they're hard to hit in cover because they get like bonus to their cover save I think. If you turbo boost them forwards first turn they get a, like a 2 plus save which is good and they're very cheap so lots of wounds, lots of attacks. Um, they're swarms, strength and toughness 3 and 5 plus save regularly so they're not very durable at all, and they're not Necrons, so don't count to the Necron phase out or special, and they don't get the Necron special rules, so they can't get back up or anything. So, yeah, they're cheap but not very durable to their swarms. Okay, next up is the heavy dis, uh, the heavy support units, the Tomb Spider. It's a monstrous creature, which makes it awesome. It can spawn scarabs in the assault phase. It can spawn a scarab swarm before it goes into combat, so that's extra combat abilities for you there, which makes it very good. Um, they get will. They roll in. Will be back means that if it, there's one within 12 inches of a squad, regardless of if they have another model within the same of the same type within six inches, they can still get back up if there's another model of the same type on the field. I explain this in the will be back bit section of my videos, and so refer to that. Only two wounds, so not very durable. 55 points means they're a very cheap monstrous creature. Um, only weapon skill two, so they won't hit very very often, and they're not Necrons, as I've said earlier. Okay, Heavy Destroyers, the main anti-tank. Very um, manoeuvrable, because you get to move as jet bikes, and still fire. 65 points per model, and a small squad size of 1 to 3 makes them not very durable. Although they're like toughness 5, they're not going to last long, and um, yeah. They're mainly anti-tank, they have strength 9 AP2 guns with one shot each. Um, so, they move about the field killing anti killing tanks. That's what they do. Use them for that. Only use them for that and take something squads of three. Okay. Lastly, the monolith. Great weapons. Its regular weapon shoots D6 shots at everything within 12 inches. That's a strength 4. A strength 5 AP4 gun, which is the same as a Gorse Blast, pretty much. And is awesome for killing lots of enemies quickly. Amazingly durable. They have armor 14 all round and living metal special rule. If you want to know what that is, look at its video. Um, they can teleport Necrons. They can deep strike in. 235 points makes them good value for points. But then it's also a lot of points, so be careful when making an army because they'll eat up a large number of points. They're not Necrons, so don't count to phase out or anything. That has been a very quick run through of everything in the army. Stay tuned for more stuff next time once I've got some more suggestions and stuff and I've chosen what to do.